How to set and read out an iButton Maxim Integrated DS1922 L by the Android iButton Assist app. It is very quick and simple once you know it how it works. For example, for measuring the basal body temperature for natural birth control or fertility awareness with a high temperature quality. What you need is an Android device, a USB connector or a USB adapter, which is a similar, or an uh, iButton DSL 1920L Maxim Integrated, an iButton USB adapter, probably an iButton cap to put in the cap, the iButton, like this, and open it, and um, the Android iButton Assist app, which you can download by the APK Pure website or the My iButton EU software site. Once the iButton Assist app is installed, you may have to know how to set the iButton Assist app. It's very quick and very simple if you know it. You click on Program Collect, first the measurements, then you click on Plus and enter the name, for example, Fertile Face Then uh, you click on the sample rate and the sample rate should be hours. If you would like to have this battery saving uh, mode, then you put here 264 hours. If you are a beginner, one or two hours. Or if you are experienced, you can click uh, here 24 hours. The next is you enable the start time. The start time should be in the future. So today is May 24. So uh, if you are experienced, uh, not experienced, then start, for example, in the evening at uh, 10 p.m. Or uh, if you are experienced, then you can put uh, 24 hours measuring the next day, 25 and for example, 4 a.m. That's it. And uh, now you click on OK because you set it, then uh, the high temperature resolution should be on and the temperature software correction. Now you have all done this. Um, that's fine. Now, and uh, this fertile phase should be activated. This deployment now, yeah, it's uh, activated. You can now plug in all this. It changes um, to the green. I insert I button. Yeah. And now, once you insert the I button, it works very schnick and it is already set. So you hear the click and now it's set according to the settings. That's it. That was it. Now is the I button set measuring every 24 hours at 4 p.m. one temperature data. The same is could be measured every one hour. So now you would like to read out, for example, after four days after the specific change of the cervical fluid according to the natal birth control rules. Um, you do the same first. You have to set the deployment by, for example, a starting time in the future, but first you change um, the rate to 200, 
64 hours. Sample rate, this is uh, the battery saving mode, so every 11 days there is one measurement. It is not possible to stop the I button clock inside uh, with this app. You can stop the I button to save uh, the battery by Windows PC, for example, with the one wire viewer or AIBA software. So now you would like to read out, then you uh, the settings are done. You insert the I button like this and oops. it is already new set. So now uh, you have it the measure in the measurements. Oh, no finished measurements. So uh, you we, we take another um, another deployment where we have the measurements, for example, the fertile phase, we activate them. And there we have the measurements already. So we can now see all these measurements by clicking on this, on the sharing button. And then we use an email program which allows to share the CSV file, an Excel file. So uh, what is possible, for example, the Samsung um, mobile app, and then uh, you can see here the I button assist CSV data file. You click on it, and you have also th uh, the possibility to choose Sheets, Google Sheets or Excel better. Take the Google Sheets and they open. It, it's better because there is the temperature um, line and you can read here now the batch of the temperature and you if you measure every 12, 24 hours you may see here your recordings um, and the starting time and the, the different measurements every two four hours. So I hope you, you enjoy the video and if you have and share it with friends and if you have any questions send emails to nfp at myibutton.eu. Thank you.